Return of the Stone Age. Rolling Stones Rock Halifax. Then, reaching the wreckage, plane crash found after days of searching. We had four or five search teams from all over the province. And in sports, dropping the puck. Bruins and Islanders face off in preseason matchup. Live from our Maritime News Center, this is CTV News. Here is Elizabeth Chu. Good evening, Paul Hollingsworth is on assignment. It was a night of rock and roll and rain in Halifax. About an hour ago, the Rolling Stones wrapped up the biggest concert in Halifax history before an estimated 50,000 screaming fans. The legendary band rocked the commons and CTV's Liz Rigney has more. It was the biggest bang of all as the Stones brought their sound and fury to Halifax. And it makes us all very proud to be in the part of the biggest concert that Halifax has ever been, apparently, so we're very proud to be here. Production far exceeded expectation as the eight and a half story light show lit up the night sky. The self sufficient stones bring their own portable power. It's enough to light a small city. Fans huddle together in the rain and mud, packed like sardines at the front of the stage. Like I should be out there driving her, but I'm just, I'm, I'm going home. My first time with the Rolling Stones, it was a really, really good experience. The crowd started to build earlier in the day as Sloan opened the show. Then Alice Cooper turned up the volume, paving the way for Kanye West. The dapper rapper picked up the pace with a driving bass that shook the common, rounding out his band with four local classical musicians. But it was the stones that made the wait worthwhile, pulling out all the stops, even sliding out an additional stage halfway through the show. It was a spectacle like no other, which may help compensate those who paid $100 to stand in the rain amid a mucky mixture of discarded blankets and puddles. The stones are the stones, and they're along with me, the stones. So you, if they're in. Uh, Eastern Canada, I'd have to go see them. At the end of the night, the tens of thousands who stuck it out were overwhelmed, impressed, and confident they'd gotten a bigger bang for their buck. Elizabeth, it was an outstanding show. I mean, we've been doing stories about the setup, and so you'd think we'd have a clue what was coming, but to see it all in, in person was absolutely exhilarating. The show began a little after, almost around 8.30, and ended a little after 10, so we had maybe an hour 40. I think some people were thinking they'd play a little longer, but it was raining, so, you know, people were probably happy to get out of the common. As soon as that show ended, the stage lights went dark, and the entire common area was pitch black. The areas that you could walk, little walkways, were lit up, so people left the common quite orderly. Not very many problems that we were able to see. The biggest souvenir I think the Stones left was the giant sea of mud that the uh, venue now has become. In fact, people we saw leaving the concert had mud boots on that went all the way up their calf. So there could be a little tidying up being done tomorrow, but overall I would say people were absolutely impressed. And uh, Liz, I imagine you had quite the day covering this. It was real thrill, and uh, we had very fantastic hosts who allowed us to watch the show from their private party and their apartment, and we thank them for that help. And thank you, Liz. Thanks. ZTV's Liz Rigney reporting live for us tonight from Halifax. Now, fans are still roaming around downtown Halifax. Crowd control is a huge priority tonight. Streets are blocked off, officers are out in full force, and so far about three dozen intoxicated people are spending the night with police. CTV's Tracy Prashasnik has more. This was the night tens of thousands of Rolling Stones fans were waiting for. Die-hard fans started lining up Friday night. By early this morning, hundreds were waiting. Because we want to be right at the stage, so like I'm short, and we don't want to be trampled. In. More than a thousand fans sprinted for the stage when the gates opened at one. But this seemed to be the only congestion in the city. Despite road closures around the perimeter of the park, traffic was moving right along. The inner city parking lots, nowhere near full. Perhaps because of the cost of parking or because music fans are following the city's advice and taking public transportation. 
close to where I was able to go ahead and leave my car. I left my car there and took the shuttle. I figured it was the best way to travel. Do you have your photo ideas now? Last minute ticket sales were steady, at least until the rain started. I mean, the walk up wasn't quite where we expected, but we're, you know, we're close to the number. We initially set 60 as a target, 50 to 60, so we'll come in close to the 50 number. So the, the goal here wasn't so much to hit a target as it was to put on a successful show. Successful indeed, according to these Stones fans. They didn't let a little rain dampen their spirits. What rain? <laughs> We're prepared for it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not windy anyway. We're not going to stop us from having fun. We just said if we were little girls, we'd be having a ball in the rain. Some people, though, had a little too much fun at the beer garden. We have had some people indulging a little bit too much. We've locked up about 12 people for public intoxication at this point. Stop, 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 stop. Apart from that, though, police say it's been a pretty quiet night and hope it stays that way when all the fans leave the concert site. Tracy Prashajnik, CTV News, Halifax. In other, I'm Elizabeth Chu in for Paul Hollingsworth. We are going to leave you now with some more highlights from tonight's Rolling Stones concert in Halifax. Thanks very much for watching. Good night. Thank you.